Well, it's, uh, it's been a long time coming. The Vikings have been out of Super League for in you know, excess of six years. You know, we've, uh, we've got an awful lot to, uh, to, to make up, to catch up, and uh, we've got to do it pretty quickly. So uh, it's going to be a great start. First off, on uh, Sky Live, and uh, you know we need to be ready. You know Wakefield do have the advantage that uh, they've been in Super League for uh, for, you know, for for that period. Um, although there's been many changes at their club, there's been a, a sea of change, some massive change to our business here at the Stolbart Stadium. So uh, we just can't wait. You know the Witness fans have uh, have waited a long time for this. We're coming from a position of not having a squad, so we're building a new squad. Um, so every opposition is going to be challenging, um, and we, we're happy with who we've got. Um, that's no disrespect to Wakefield. We wish them the best, of course. Um, but yeah, we think um, we've got a fair fixture list. We, three of our first fixtures out of four are at home, um, and we want to give our members something that they can um, enjoy. And we want the, them to sort of keep coming to the stadium and filling it up and creating that atmosphere again. Someone you'll know a lot about, Warrington at Magic and the last match of the season, that's just sort of just prime for that game isn't it for you? Without a shadow of a doubt you know, um, we, we have some neighbours in St Helens and Wigan and Salford, um, but the Derby's Warrington, that is the big game um, and, and, and we need to put that back on the, on the agenda, back on the rugby league map. Um, it's been off for a long time. Um, I was involved in the last one as the Warrington coach, uh, so it's going to be uh, quite strange when uh, when when the big game comes back around. But uh, it's 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 one that we're really looking forward to. And uh, how would you say progress is going? Uh, looking at some of the players you brought in, there's, there's a good mix of youth and experience in there, and and Scott Moore possibly a bit of a coup for you as well. Well, uh, we we really hope so, and a, and, a, and a few more players in there that we uh, hope are going to be surprise packages. You know, um, if, if anyone thinks they want to play fantasy football at this level and, and bring in the best Australian players and the best Kiwi players um, and even the best players that uh, the England Rugby League can, uh, can, can offer at the minute, then, then, then you're kidding yourself. The market isn't there. You know, we have to be very prudent in who we bring in and, and how we bring them in and more importantly, why we bring them in. And it's all about the environment, the culture. We want to build this on very firm foundations. Anyone at home wondering where we've got you? This is your pitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the green, green grass of witness. Um, yeah, we. I mean, obviously, we're hoping this will be installed um, before Christmas, so the guys, Dennis and his squad, can get on there and start some real um, training on this surface. Um, it's been a real, um, a real partnership working. We're working with the RFL uh, and our contractors to make sure that this pitch goes down and it's fit for purpose, and we're fit for purpose for the start of the season. So uh, yeah, bring it on. It's almost like a metaphor for witness, isn't it? Well, it is. Yeah, I mean, we're, it's certainly a work in progress. We've been a meter down, and we've we've sorted all the levels out. We've squared the pitch up. There's a sort of there is a story in all that that we we'll have all our ducks in a row come February the third, and we. Um, in a, in a quiet way, we, we hope nobody likes playing at Widnes, not necessarily because of the pitch we have, but let's hope that we, we make it difficult for teams.